Welcome to LETV Newsbreak. I am Akira Mouton. I am Karen Brigantz. A never before done Boma Mayor debate style required a massive amount of teamwork and some assistance from Lamar University's Stereo Department. LUTV News reporter Hannah Spikes got an exclusive look at what all went into the production. For the first time in Southeast Texas local news, a debate between five mayoral candidates was broadcast for the city to see. There's never been anything like this in Beaumont where it's been advertised on a main channel for an hour. So we knew how important this election was going to be. We haven't had a new mayor in Beaumont in quite some time. So we wanted to kind of be the differentiator in the market and, you know, be the place that people can turn to to ask questions. A production of this size takes an approach that requires everyone. It's a pretty massive setup. So we have everyone from news, production, sales, marketing, everyone at the stations kind of involved in it. Um, you kind of need a, a big team to kind of put something like this together. So when we say hand, all hands on deck, it's literally everyone in the stations are kind of involved in the project. KBMT's production managers worked with Lamar Theater's team to bring the debate stage to life. We had a pre-production and talked about their lighting needs and stuff. And we hung it's all university lighting and stuff. So students and I hung the wash and colors on the curtain and all. KBMT's teens obtainment of this equipment came from their need to cover hurricanes remotely. We wanted to make sure we have a mobile setup to where at a moment's notice we can go to uh, a different facility and set up to, to be able to broadcast in case our station goes down again. We got flooded back in Imelda, right? Uh, so it's actually kind of fortuitous that we got that because now we can do these events like this um, where we can just go elsewhere and do live broadcasts from anywhere we want uh, with the full control room system. With the lights set and cameras in place, it was time to start the debate. Hannah Spikes, LUTV News, Beaumont. As the Beaumont mayoral race was heating up, KMBT's Channel 12 was all hands on deck to make a live debate for those in the running. LUTV News reporter Dominique Lay attended the debate to see how it bridged the gap between the candidates and the community. Good evening, Southeast Texas, and thank you so much for joining us for the 12 News Now teamed up with the 2021 Beaumont mayoral candidates for a viewer involved live debate. What is it that makes these folks want to run the city of Beaumont? So some of them have been on the council, others are businessmen and women. Um, so there are so many different reasons and motives. And so hopefully this was able to answer those lingering questions for people. It's super exciting. You know, it felt kind of like doing a presidential debate. I mean, that was, seriously, the setup was awesome and getting to be here and getting to be in front of the cameras and having a host right like that. It, it was really cool. It feels wonderful. I really um, appreciate of the opportunity because you know we're in a pandemic and it's hard for us to run traditional campaigns so the more exposure the more connected the more we're able to be connected with the community the better opportunity for us candidates appreciated this new format to get in touch with voters even though we had about 10 debates already this was different because this was in a studio it was live honestly like there were nerves at the beginning because the timing and everything is so structured but I think we're well, we had fun. In the past have been they ask us all the same question. And so when you're fifth, you know, and you've got a minute to answer the same question that's been answered, you know, four other times becomes difficult. So I like the fact that they mixed up the questions and were able to get different perspectives from us all on different topics. Candidates believe that this mayoral debate will benefit voters and impact their decisions. I think that because it, it was on TV, I think that a lot of people have tuned in. So the fact that it's live is a little bit more credible and people are tuning in. Maybe we can have 100 offices and no one is doing anything productive, but you can have five offices and everyone is doing something productive. We need to build relationships. We need to have more communication, better transparency, and a lot better metrics. And with that, I think we can have great success here in the city. We are really excited about how the debate turned out, we're able to answer the viewers' questions. We asked people to send us text messages and to send us emails. So we didn't sit around a table and decide what we were gonna talk about tonight. We let Southeast Texas make that decision and that's really important. Dominique Lay, LUTV News, Beaumont. Election day is May 1st. Polls will open at 7 a.m. and will stay open until 7 p.m. Anyone in line by 7 p.m. will be allowed to vote you will need to bring a Texas ID. There are several polling locations in Beaumont. For more information on polling locations and a sample ballot, visit jeffersonelections.com. Lamar graduate and Congressman of the 36th District of Texas, Brian Babin, 
recently visited the southern border of Texas. LUTV News anchor Tommy Byers had an opportunity to speak with Congressman Babin on his recent visit. You recently talked about your um, visit to the southern border. Upon your arrival, what did you witness? Well, we, we expected to see a lot of chaos down there uh, because as the uh, House uh, Border Security Caucus co-chairman uh, for actually the last uh, term, and actually on two terms, uh, uh, we had been hearing a lot of reversals by the Biden administration uh, on, on some of the Trump uh, uh, protocols like uh, Remain in Mexico, uh, Title 42, uh, the National Emergency Declaration, uh, wall building and all of this. And we knew uh, through all the campaign rhetoric uh, that, uh, that Biden would probably reverse a lot of that. And he was warned absolutely warned by numbers of people in the, by, in the uh, Trump administration that if, if he did this, he was going to have a crisis on his hands. Uh, totally ignored this. And so by the time we got down there, uh, it was already a basket case and it's getting worse and worse. We went to uh, the Rio Grande Valley. We went to McAllen. We went out to Padre Island. We talked to the Coast Guard. Uh, we uh, talked to the National Guard. We flew around with them. Uh, we talked to the Drug Enforcement Administration. Uh, many people with the Border Patrol and, and, uh, and uh, Customs and, and Border Protection. Uh, and we saw things that really were very, very concerning to me on a humanitarian level. Uh, being, uh, to see the full interview, visit LUTV News and Media online YouTube. With the last day of classes approaching, I'm sure students would like to see some clear skies and some sunny weather. I know I definitely would. Let's hope that LUTV weather's Tommy Byers does too. Tommy, does the rest of the week look promising? Well, these April showers, hopefully it brings plenty of May flowers. As we bloom into Wednesday, we're gonna see a high around 85. As we move into the um, Thursday, we are going to have a severe thunderstorm coming down from the Red River Valley area, so our rain chances will increase. Well, we will see a low around 68 on Thursday. As we move into Friday, we are going to see an 80% chance of rain, and as we move into the weekend, our rain chances will slowly descend. Well, we will see a high around 80 on Saturday and a low around 69 on Sunday. But as we move into the work week, we will see highs around the mid 80s and lows in the lower to mid 70s. Unfortunately, these April showers are gonna stick around just a little longer than expected. This has been Tommy Byers for LUTV Weather, back to you. Thank you for watching LUTV News Break. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Be sure to join us next semester for LUTV News, where your campus, community, and culture news come together.